Hello everybody, welcome to House Flipper, I'm Fear, and House Flipper is a game about, uh, if you ever seen like the, uh, like the two brothers people that are, you know, do stuff, um, with houses, then you would know what it is. It's like basically where you go into a house, you fix it up, and then you give it back to people. So, uh, what we're going to do is I want to make this a series, don't know if I'm going to, don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, but, um, if I do... Then I want to do a house every episode. And eventually we'll get to our house right here. That's our house on screen um, that we start off in. Eventually we can buy bigger houses. But, um, you know, as of right now, I already know how to play everything. Uh, so, yeah. Just got to expose a lot of stuff. Uh, you can pull weeds and stuff too if you have, like, the gardening um, DLC. I'll, I'll see if I can get that. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to kind of try to, you know, get our stuff in order here. Um, it's definitely not the best house, but, you know, it'll work. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, and we're going to look at our mail. And then we have to install a radiator. Um, so I'll get back to you guys whenever I'm done with, like, the tutorial and stuff. Alright guys, so I just completed the job, and um, while I was completing the job, I for one got a new tool, so now we can kind of clean up some mess around our house. Like I said, we'll do that in a second. Oh, also, I wanted to show you guys, I have cyborg hands, because I figured out you could change uh, like your hands and stuff inside the uh, menu. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to open up my tablet, and I'm going to go to perks, okay? Now in perks, I got a new, uh, I got a new like thing for um, cleaning. So I think that what I want to do is I want to get the see some dirt on the mini map upgrade. I thought that's probably the best. You don't really care about like how fast you clean and stuff. Um, you know, whenever you're like getting into it first, like like right off the bat, you kind of just uh, care about like getting the job done and stuff. And I did get a little bit of extra money for cleaning up, like, all the dirt and stuff around the house that you guys saw. Um, so I think that was pretty cool. Um, now, what I don't like about this, um, about this game is how long it takes to clean stuff. Uh, that, that job didn't take too long. That job only took, um, a, a little bit, you know, it didn't take, like, a long time. But it, it, it did, uh, you know, take up a little bit of time that I could have used to help make this video. So, let's go ahead and go to mail again. Now, I could do another radiator job, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do cleaning out, cleaning the garage. This one's a little bit more fun. This one's, like, more, like, the aspect of, like, what I wanted to get into. Just, like, kind of cleaning up the garage and stuff. Um, you know, I thought that it was pretty cool that, you know, you could do this kind of stuff inside of the game. I will definitely make sure to get some DLCs and stuff, though. Um, I feel that'd be pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the garage. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff here. So what we're, we're going to do is we're just going to... We're also going to clean up the entire house. Um, I might do that off camera, though, because that's not really relevant to this job. But, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get started by cleaning up all these boxes and stuff just by clicking. Um... And, because you don't want to, like, try to clean up dirt without getting rid of all the boxes. I feel like that's just not a very good idea. Um, because then you can't see, like, all the different dirt and stuff. So we're just going to, uh, dispose of all these dirty old tires and stuff. And trash bag and some more dirty old tires. So, yeah. And then we're going to pick up these. And we're just going to place it right there. And then we're also going to place this right there boom so now they're both right there and then we can just uh, come over here we're not going to bring the car to the garage until we've cleaned out the garage with this um, I am going to however open up the perks uh, thing and get a uh, faster faster cleaning upgrade I feel that like we could probably use that right about now so um, yeah I'll get right back to you guys whenever I am done uh, Actually no, I, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, let you guys see this. See, see, this is more of the aspect of the game, and um, 
I'm sorry if I talk too fast for you guys. Um, I know I watch a couple of YouTubers that talk too fast, and it gets pretty annoying sometimes. Um, I, I don't mean to. I just you know, it's just kind of like a force of habit. I want to get like every single bit of information out that I can. So yeah. But um, yeah. Oh, and um, so here's the window. So the window is actually pretty cool because you get the squeegee, and then you can just do this. So yeah, this is um actually a pretty fun part of the game is cleaning up the windows. Um cleaning glass in general is just pretty cool cuz you get to see like all the dirt and ground fade away from all the years of this window putting in work for the house and stuff. So boom, there is the window. We're going to open it, get some fresh air in here. And then uh, we're pretty good on dirt. I think that the uh, rest of the house is pretty good too. Yeah, there's nothing really too bad with the rest of the house. So, uh, I guess there's nothing bad with the house. I'm sorry, I keep on bumping my headphones into the microwave. I mean, not the microwave, the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so this is that's all like we really needed to do. Um, so now we're just going to bring the car in here. Yeah, we do move pretty slow with the car, but not any slower than we did with the bikes. Then we're going to close the garage. We're going to open up the garage. Um, because this car is not far enough in there. Um. <laughs> Alright, you can close now. Yeah. And I also have, like, a different cursor than normal. I have this, like, uh, screwdriver. So, yeah. So, now we are done, and we can, uh, complete the job. Perfect. So that was um, basically, you know, the cleaning aspect of the game. I will show you guys, um, eventually, like, you know, we'll, we'll only be able to do, like, one house per episode because it will have us cleaning up the entire house. But um, right now I'm going to do the radiator's job that uh, that dude sent us, and I'm going to do that. And then I'll show you guys the painting aspect, um, maybe this episode, I'm not sure. I think that the I, I like to uh, do everything that um, that I can whenever I am uh, you know cleaning up houses and stuff. See, this is not too bad. I am going to install a radiator right here, though. So what we do is we go to the store on our tablet. We get radiator. Radiator won't be right there until uh, you know you've done it the first time, but you know that's fine. And then we just do that. Do that. I have easy assemble on because you know why not? You don't you don't really want to have to do all sorts of hard crap and stuff. So you just put a couple butts not butts you put a couple nuts and bolts on there and then you're good. And then we come over here and install another one. Ah yes okay handyman. All right twenty percent faster mounting twenty percent faster plastering. Hold up three tiles or panels at once and lay them down twenty five percent faster. We're not really working with um, with tiles or panels, but I think I'll get that one. We haven't really we're we're not really going to work with those until like later on in the game, because those uh, cost a good bit of money. And right now we only have like what thirty something thousand dollars. Um, this game used to be primarily in euros until they added um, I think the recent update where they put um, U.S. dollars into it, which I thought was pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to come in here. Alright, we need this to um, do that. Now, this looks like a sink, so we're just going to go to bathroom fixtures. We don't want a big fancy sink, so we're just going to get one that's like this. We're going to get it black on black. Cool. Okay. See, this would be real difficult if you had a, like, hard assemble on and stuff. Right now, all you have to do is just, you know, hold down a couple stuff, and then you're good. Yep, boom. Then you put that on, 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 and insert that, and then put that on, and insert that, and you're good. There you go. Very nice. Alright. Oh, we also need a towel radiator, don't we? 
All right. So then we come over here. We go to bathroom fixtures. And we look for a towel radiator. Now, if you cannot find one, then all, then all you have to simply do is search up. Um, actually, I think that it might be here. Nope. Wait, hold on. Bathroom. Towel radiator. No. All right. So what you have to do is just come over here and do towel radiator plumbing system. Not plumbing system. You want towel, not that, towel, ontable towel radiator, right here. And you put that there, and you assemble it. Now this is, the towel radiator takes uh, about as long as the uh, radiator does, I'm pretty sure. Or, uh, well, I mean, I guess you do have, you know, to do all this crap. So I guess it takes about twice as long, but it's all right. Oh, uh, yep. You know, if I had a towel radiator, then, you know, our family would never use it. Alright, so then we come in here, and it looks like they already have a radiator, so we're good. Alright. So then we just come out here, and we head towards the door, and then we're good. We don't, you don't have to head towards the door. I just pressed enter while I was heading towards there to make it seem like we had to. Uh, yep. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick this up. So I wanna straighten it out. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put this over here. Where, you know, my guests can't really see it too well. So yeah. Um I guess I can show you guys to paint how to paint in this game, but it's just um It's just a bit tedious, you know, especially whenever you don't have like any painting skills on lock. Once you have some painting skills, it gets easier. But, um... I think this is painting. Yeah, this is painting. So, um... Basically, well, this house is going to take a little bit. I'll get back to you guys whenever I get into the, uh... Into the baby's room. Alright. So, here we are, back here. So, um, this is the baby's room. I got carried away with the cleaning, so I just kind of went ahead and cleaned it up. Um, but let me show you guys the rest of the house. So in here, it says I have 99% dirt done. I don't know where the other 1% is. But, you know, it's whatever. I mean, honestly, unless it's like on this or something, then I don't understand. Because, yeah. But, I mean, hey, man, it's whatever. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. Now we have to buy a baby cot. So let's go to uh, baby cot. Baby. Baby cot. Here we go. Alright, let's get it in uh, light blue. Well, actually. Let's get it in a rose. Uh, I don't know. Let's just get it in white. It, it's fine. Alright, cool. And place it like that. That way you can plug up some stuff right there and stuff. Alright, so now we need a bookcase call. Don't know what that is, but okay. Bookcase call. Sure, I guess. Oh, okay, nice. Alright, I'll place it right over here. There we go. That way it kind of prevents the baby from climbing on it or something. I don't know. Alright, what else do I need? I need, uh, I already got the bookcase call. What are you talking about? Oh my god, it's not gonna, that's not the fucking right one. Well, which one do you want me to get then? Like, oh my god. Oh, you want this one? Okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Well, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Okay. So, whatever. Alright. I can just put it, like, in the middle of the room if I really wanted to. But I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it right there. 
Okay, perfect. Let's buy a little cabinet thingy. Alright, so the parents are going to change the baby right there. Alright, and let's buy two poofs. Okay, let's put a poof right there. And let's put a poof over here. Two. Alright, then we need some pastel pink. We're going to buy it large. Now this is paint, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and we're going to select painting. And then we're going to hold to do our roller like that. And then we can do this. Now you have to make sure that um, whatever you do, you do right. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you something. This this can get you tricked up right there, cause that that you also have to paint like inside the the window. Which I don't know how a paint roller does that, but whatever. So yeah, but as you can see, we need uh, one of those paint upgrades because the paint upgrades allow you to like conserve um, paint and stuff whenever you're painting and. It's just like way better in general. We're definitely not following Bob Ross's guidelines though. I can tell you that much. You know, the great Bob Ross once said. <laughs> hey, let's go. We can finally get something. Alright. I'm going to get this one. Because then it leads us to the paint usage. And it also doesn't let us uh, waste paint on already painted walls. That's good. Just make sure that I got every single thing that I needed. Okay. What? You can you need to paint that too? I never even knew that. Like I've I've played this game for so long and I've never even known that you're supposed to do that. I am not even joking. That is insane right there. Like, I'm not even going to lie. That is insane. But hey, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, so... Um... You know, this is the painting part of the game. It's not very intriguing. I, I really don't like painting in this game. It's boring. You know, it's not really fun at all. Alright. So sorry about that, um, that little cut there. Uh, I forgot where I was. Okay, I need to get some of this. I can do that. Yeah, so, I forgot what I was saying before. I, I, I kind of spent like an hour break. I had to eat dinner and stuff, so. Yeah. Sorry about that. But hey, you know, it's okay. I went through like an entire like day cycle, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. But um hey now we are now here we are. You know, pretty pretty baller. Pretty baller. You know. We have to paint this entire room. We can get more buckets of paint, but I just don't want to like buy one right now and stuff, so yeah. So pretty soon we'll be getting over to the orange walls and uh, changing those up. But first I'm going to do this. Pretty soon we're going to run out of paint in this bucket, so yeah. But um, I think that the painting aspect, I don't really like it too much. It's one of my, it's not really one of my favorites. But um... It can definitely provide you with a cool little experience and stuff. You know. It's definitely not accurate to like what normal uh, like painting a house would be. But, um, you know, that's fun. It doesn't have to be accurate. It's just a video game. You know. So, 
yeah. So, um, I wanted to tell you guys about this uh, movie. It's called Eighth Grade. Um, I'm in the eighth grade right now, and so I wanted to watch it and see how accurate it was. And you know, it's pretty accurate. Um, <laughs> a bunch of, you know, a bunch of talk about like people sending nudes and stuff. Like, no, it it it's not. It doesn't have like any nude the internet or anything, but, you know, it's pretty accurate, because a bunch of people in my grade, at least, um, in, like, my school, who were in 8th grade, they send nudes a lot and stuff, and, um, so it was just pretty accurate with, like, how people actually are. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do 20% less paint usage. There we go, so now we're done with that. We can just uh, get our cell object and sell that. And uh, yeah, so now everything in here is pretty cool. I think I want to move this over here though. I just don't like its current location. I felt like it didn't fit in right there. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring it forward, or I'm going to bring it over there just like that. Okay. I feel like we could probably use a couple of paintings in here as well. I just kind of want to. I, I want to do like a pimp my ride for this baby, <laughs> you know. So let's um do decorations. Let's not have any pipes or anything. Let's have this. I don't want it large. There we go. Now this baby has like a little place to play with it toy with its toys and stuff. Let me go here again and do decorations. <laughs> and uh we can just kinda look at all this. I feel like uh, this would be pretty good. Let's get it extra large. That way we can hang it up on our, on our wall right here. Actually, let's let's not get it extra large. I feel like a medium would probably do. Yeah, right there. I'd like to put one right there, but that's, you know, that's fine. So now we're just going to complete the job. Boom and boom. Give it a second. Octarius? Oh god, sorry. I was logging into my phone because of... Alright, so... I was checking my phone because somebody mixed, uh, texted me. It's alright. Alright, so, um... Yeah, next episode we'll get to knocking down walls and adding walls. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications. It really means a lot in the end. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys um, in the next episode. Goodbye.